Hey y'all, today's gonna be a what's all video and it starts right now. All right guys, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also known as the Beard Thrift Machine here on YouTube and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. So it basically means buy something low and then sell for market value on places like eBay and Facebook Marketplace. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a reselling channel. If you want to, you can go back and watch some of my other content. If you do like it, always remember to subscribe, comment down below, like the video, 20 what's sold for me on eBay. I'll try to tell you exactly how much I spent on the item and how long they took to sell. So without further ado, go ahead and get started. This one right here is going to be a Cabela's tan green cotton shoulder shooting shirt. It was a 2XL, went for $12, and the buyer did pay shipping. Picked this up for $6 a long time ago, probably six months ago, at a Goodwill. The word shooting shirt, that comes into play when it has that different uh, patchwork right there on the shoulder. It's where you usually put like the butt of the gun, and then you can use that keyword for where it says shooting shirt. 2XL is a pretty good size. I don't know why I didn't go for a little bit more money. But uh, and all bigger sizes usually sell a little bit faster for me on eBay. This one's a long and burger top slant basket with the plastic cover on the inside. Went for $32 and the buyer did pay shipping. It only took a week to sell and I only have about $7 into that basket. Picked that up at a estate sale not that long ago. This one right here, I've had for a really long time, but I think it was overpriced. I went through my store when uh, sales were really slow and I did a whole bunch of revamping of prices. And this was a Prince 03 pink hybrid oversized tennis racket. This was the Breast Cancer Awareness Series. They go for $30 plus shipping. This was in better condition. Probably would have went for the $55 I was asking. Uh, it was in pretty rough condition and I still got $30 plus shipping. Picked up $2.00 probably eight months ago at a Goodwill, and it actually went uh, international through the global shipping program on eBay. Sims is a really good brand to look out for. I always, this is kind of like a newer brand to me when I went fly fishing. I saw this stuff in a high-end store, and then I started finding it actually in my Goodwill. I just didn't know about the brand before, but it's called Sims Fishing Products, and this is one of their uh, felt bottom wading boots, size 9, and they were studded, so they were studs on the bottom also, and they went for $50 plus shipping. They were in pretty good condition, to be honest with you. If they fit me, I would have definitely kept these, but they did not fit me, so $6 at a Goodwill. It only took a couple weeks to sell, but Sims Fishing Products is a really good brand to flip. Some of their waders go for three, four, five hundred dollars $500, so definitely a decent brand to be on the lookout for. This one is a Workshop Ken Onion Edition Knife Sharpener. I always say, pick these things up when you can. I picked this up for $15 about two weeks ago at a yard sale. So for $82.80 plus shipping there. It says $4 shipping. I actually messed up on the shipping on this. This was supposed to be three pounds, three ounces. I did three ounces. So I ate some shipping. Luckily, it stayed on the East Coast. My mistake on that one, the guy got a better deal, but I still made about 40 bucks. So that's not too bad. This one is a Texas Instrument TI-84 Plus, the Silver Edition. This was tested. Everything worked out. Sold for $53.99 plus shipping on this. Picked it up for $5 at a yard sale probably like a month or two ago. I was surprised it took so long to sell, but it was in the middle of summer. Nobody was going back to school. Kids are going back to school. This stuff sells now. So not bad there, but it seems like I only now go after the TI-84s instead of the TI-83s. They sell for a lot more money. This is a vintage 1997 US Open golf hat. It was white. It was in really good condition. Went for $25.20 plus shipping. I always get excited when I have a uh, hat go over $20 because I don't find a lot of hats that are worth over 20 bucks. And I always pay usually about $2 at a Goodwill from that, but they are long tail for me. This one I've had for about six months. This one was a super good pickup. I picked this up only about a week ago at a yard sale for, I picked up, I think it was like five clubs for 10 bucks. This was one of those clubs, so $2 into this club. Callaway Mac Daddy Grind 60, that's the degree. And it went for $62 plus shipping. Really good condition. I thought it was, uh, you know, had some wear on the bottom, but the lines on it, it was, was perfect. Really good condition. So $62, I was happy to take, especially since I only paid two bucks for it. This one I got for free. My dad actually gave this to me to sell and uh, he didn't want it. It was in working order. It is a Sony CN5000P two-way center speaker with the base. It did go for $40.50 plus shipping. Stayed on the East Coast. It says the shipping there is $17.90. This was actually pretty heavy and fairly large. So I think the shipping was a little bit more than that. But uh, definitely not too bad there on that sale considering it was free. Thanks, dad. This one right here is going to be a Vintage Snap-on Tools F710D. This is a 3H drive 
ratchet made in the United States. This thing was pretty beat up, but it still worked. If this was in good condition, easy 30, 40 bucks. In this condition, 17 plus shipping. I got about $2 in that in an auction. And that one sold pretty quick. Usually snap on ratchets, especially flex head ratchets. So pretty quick. I think this one sold for about in about two weeks. This I've had for a while. This is the Oxyacetylene Welder's Handbook Craftsman 5th Edition with the crown logo. I always say that crown logo. If you can see right there, it looks like there's a little crown on the logo that went for $8 and the buyer did pay shipping. I have pennies into that but it did take about six months to sell. This is a Mark's New York Central System stationary crane. Uh, I got this at that big auction that I had about a month and a half ago now. I have like literally a dollar or less into this stuff. I had so much of this from the attic buy, and this went for $11.90 and the buyer did pay shipping on that. Again, took about, about a month and a half to sell. This is a Ziggy 14 inch plush from 1998. It said on the dial, it said, uh, go ahead, make my night with the orange shirt. Still had the tag on it. Went for $12. The buyer did pay shipping. When you saw me pick up all those plushes, totally out of my like comfort zone there. I picked up some Cabbage Patch. I know nothing about. I picked up some Ziggy. I know nothing about. I picked up some Dr. Seuss. I know nothing about. But I got everything for like a dollar. And, you know, all that stuff was a dollar each. So he was a dollar. I made an easy 10 bucks. They're super easy to ship. This was at SK Tools, one of my favorite tools to actually sell. SK Tools USA 3H Drive Ratchet, $10 plus shipping. Probably about a dollar into that. And some of this stuff does take a while to sell when it comes to tools. I think that I've been holding on to this one for about five months now. Taylor made RBZ Rocket Ball Z white fitted hat, small, medium, pre owned. Only went for $8 plus shipping. Picked it up for $2 at a garage sale. The thing about these hats is when you start doing research, they're really not worth that much money. If you get them for super cheap, you can still make probably about five bucks on them. And that one did take a while to sell, probably about a month or two. Afco Shorts, I put this on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, always follow me at the Beard Thrift Machine on Instagram. But Afco Shorts, 34 beige, that's all you have to put. People search these shorts. They're amazing. They're great fishing shorts. They're good to go out on the town or you can go fishing in them. It's whatever you want to do with these. These things are all purpose shorts right here. And they went for $29 plus shipping. I picked these up for like a dollar a piece at that yard sale. The same one as the Mac Daddy Wedge you just saw. And they sell within days, if not hours. These things are great. They, I mean, you could price them where they won't sell. But $29 for a used pair of shorts, I'll take that all day long. I want to throw this one in here because some of the ones that I bought were missing buttons. They weren't missing the major button, like the one at the top. They're missing like a, a pocket button. This one right here. This one was Afco Men's Shorts 34 Bluish Gray. I didn't even know the color. It was like a bluish gray color. That's what I put into good, good pictures. And it said missing pocket button. Still went for 19 bucks plus shipping and it sold literally within like three minutes. Look out for Afco clothing and mostly their shorts. This one right here is some cap cast iron hex dumbbells, 20 pound. This was the set, so obviously it's 40 pounds altogether. They went for $55 plus shipping. You saw me pick up another set of these at a garage sale last week. This is not them. These were the ones I picked up a while back for myself, actually at the Goodwill for only $6. So I made a lot of money here, but I knew when I went to the garage sale, I had already sold these for 55 and I was picking up this and some other sets for 30 bucks. So I knew that the other ones were going to sell. And here are some Cabbage Patch Kids. Again, I knew nothing about Cabbage Patch Kids. Uh, these did need cleaning. Their shirts were like kind of dirty and had stains on them them themselves. These were the cloth ones. They also were dirty and had some stains on them. And I'm not going to lie, I wasn't going to clean them. I was like, this seems like a lot of work for not a lot of return. So I was like, I'll put them up on auction. I only have like five bucks into all these. So I did a lot of four vintage Cabbage Patch Kids. It says read because it goes into detail about what needed to be done to these dolls. Got one bid, 40 bucks plus shipping. I made my 30 bucks. Happy with that. This one right here is a Kodak Easy Share Z14. 8.5. It is the pink edition. This did work. This was also out of that auction where I got the attic lot. A lot of stuff in there. Again, dollars like into this. Pennies. Like I'm talking like a dollar or two. This one for $15.90 plus shipping on this. It did take a while to sell. Probably about a month and a half now. But that's really not that bad for an older digital camera. So right there, that is 20 wood sold for me in the last couple of days on eBay. I do these videos so you can go there, find some of these items, flip them for yourself, and make some money. I really do appreciate everybody that watches. If you haven't subscribed, always remember to subscribe. Comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always catch you 
on the next one.